It is Nutrition Month. We've been trying to give you as much information as possible the last couple of weeks. So joining us today, we have uh, Hélène Chal uh, Chalabois, who's a registered dietitian, nutrition consultant. Always a pleasure to have you here on the show. You Thank brought you. company with you. Oh, we yeah. actually have a University of Ottawa uh, student in nutrition, uh, Tamara Sarkissian. So great to have you here as well. You, see, you hear it all the time, you hear it from your clients, and the one thing yeah. you notice, people do not know how to read the labels. No. What it is that they're looking for and, and some of the things that you want them to pay attention to and some to kind of move away from. That's right. Even though Health Canada has done a great job in trying to educate us, we look at this and it's very overwhelming with all the information. So I put these kind of in groups. So when okay. you're in grains, you shouldn't be looking so much as fat maybe like in a croissant, but you kind of know. In a donut, you kind of know there's fat in there. But what we're looking for in grains is fiber content. So Health Canada has delineated fiber. If it's a source of fiber, two grams. Good source, four grams. Excellent source, which you would see on, right here on the front of the package, excellent source. That means it would have six grams of fiber or more. And they can deem it as an excellent source. Okay. So there's different categories from Health Canada that they have done and um, put nutrition claims on the front of package, which we'll talk about later. Also in, in um, cereals, crackers, things like that, we need to look at sugar content. I usually say no more than eight grams. That's hard to find in some cereals, really hard. And also the sodium, let's say in crackers, or these are ramen noodles. I mean, I like 200 milligrams or less of sodium, but very, very high. So you just go down the list, I think it's what, 540. These crackers aren't too bad. Uh, they're just a sesame rice cracker at 60. So when you're looking at grains, you're looking more at fiber, sugar, and sodium. When you're looking more at canned products, different things, certainly tomato sauces, certainly salad dressing, sodium content. This is what we're looking for in these. Um, also the portion sizes. People forget to look. Look on the top. The first thing on top is portion. Always look at the portion and what they're looking at because this is only half a cup of sauce. Right. You're, you're not looking at the entire can. This is uh, per That's right. serving. And how much sauce would you put on? At least a cup probably. At least. So you need to be realistic in your portion sizes as well. Canned products, of course, is sodium content. And over here in canned fruit, you're not getting the fiber in canned fruit. So you're going to get very little fiber as opposed to eating the there fruit itself. And of course, juice has no fiber at all. So you're not going to look at the content for fiber, um, for juice, for fiber and juice. But juice and different canned products like this, you'll see a high amount of sugar. But it's naturally found in the product. You have to look at the side of the ingredient list. We tend to now forget, since we have these nutrition labels, we tend to forget about the ingredient list. So this only has pineapple and water. That's so that, it. So that sugar then is just the natural sugar. Mother sugars. Nature put it there, so it's fine. Because there would be some that would actually be sweetened. That would be oh a sugar. Oh my God, in, yes. In, you know, in a, in a it's sweet. It's those syrupy sugars. Right. So always look at the ingredient list, because if you're looking at sugar contents of, uh, sometimes my clients say, I don't drink juice, even half a cup, which is the recommendation. Uh, no more, but it's really high in, in sugar. Last one. Uh, this is dairy products. We're, we're not going to look at fiber. So always look at more fat. We're looking at less than five grams. And again, sugar contents in a lot of the yogurts and a lot of different things like that. All right, Tamara, I think, okay, I, what I want to get to you because you, yeah. one thing we always look at is the percentages. You're, you're oh, yeah. actually looking at, you know, the listing and stuff, but yes. when you look at percentage, doesn't it all add up to the 100%? That's no, a good Mathematically, is that right? This yeah. one's big. Here. So it's, uh, it's actually based on what you need for the day, so the recommended daily value, and it doesn't add up to 100, like you said, um, but we want to make sure that we keep the 5% low, so everything... Uh, Whatever is 5% means that it's low, and then whatever is 15% means that it's high. So if you're looking for, uh, for example, sodium, you want to make sure that's low. It's under 5%. So 5% is good, it's low. And then uh, this one over fiber, here. Yeah, if you're looking at fiber, you want it high. So 15% it would be good. So those are good. Yeah. So when you're looking at the percentage, it's not, uh, you're, not, you're not looking at it to add up to 100%. Yeah. You're yeah. looking at it to be the value of what you need of that. Of that, yeah. day. of that day. Yeah. yeah. Look at all of them individually. Don't add them all up. Okay. And then labeling, because I want to just quickly. You've done. You've made your own little bars. Yeah. These uh, nut bars. Uh, I was going to compare them to this little granola bar here. It's about 35 grams. And I made a label here using Esha, uh, Esha food processor. And this is like a professional software that we use at school. So it's a little more expensive for someone who wants to make their own labels, but they can use different websites. Like they can go to MyFitnessPal. They can also go to EatTracker.com. Uh, .ca. Sorry. And, yeah. and we have and that. I sent it to Stephanie, yeah. so she should put it on the The, the website's the website. listed there, and so you can put all the ingredients that you've used, and it'll actually create a label for you. Uh, yes. Sorry, I don't know if it's going to create a label for you, but you can get all the nutritional all values. The, I'll, I'm breaking that down. But Early to get a label, it's called Food Processor, and uh, my website is on there, and I have somebody yeah. that does my labels for me that in different recipes, so that is available for awesome. people to do. Also, front of package I wanted to talk about. Okay. That's we we totally have different. completely run out okay, of time. Okay, we can do another we'll segment. We'll do another segment. We'll do another segment. <laughs> we got to you, absolutely. Uh, we got plenty more to come here on CTV Morning Live.